Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another video. Now we're pretty excited sort of last week when uh, Hasbro finally revealed that we're getting a brand new Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi on a new vintage card and they're not using the old stale um, Empire Strikes Back card that we've been seeing so many times over the years. They're going back to Boba Fett with the blue sky is, you know, known as the blue sky card back um i know a lot of people were pretty excited i'm included as one of them um some people more included more more excited about the artwork on the card than others uh only one kenobi i'm looking at you my friend um but yeah it's pretty exciting it looks like it's going to be a brand new mold which is long overdue for return of the jedi boba fett um so i thought we'd go back and have a look at a few different three and three quarter inch boba fett figures that have come out over the years um i don't have them all um but i think i have a reasonably nice selection that i can uh show off and we'll go through each one in a short little video i thought i'd put together um but firstly i just want to share this number here uh this is a retro collection before retro collection happened. Uh, now retro collection is one I don't have, but this is the 2010 um, VCP03. Remember this was uh, sent to me by a buddy in New Zealand uh, back in the day. These were available in Toys R Us here in Australia, but I, uh, the one time I saw one, it was open and ripped and someone had just messed with it on the shelf. So. I remember leaving it and I sort of regret not picking it up anyway and just having a loose copy of it but uh yeah this is a cool version actually rocket firing as well so actually went went back on their promise and gave it a rocking rocket firing feature so that was a cool little exclusive to kick off the vintage collection back in 2010 so I'll have him <clears throat> I'll have him to the side and uh we'll get a look at some other figures all right, so here we are in front of, I don't even count, this is 10 Mark Boba Fett action figures here, uh, if I've counted right. <laughs> Pretty sure there's 10. So we're just gonna go through one by one, have a close look at all of them, and uh, I'll run through exactly what's going on with them. So we'll kick off with, this is uh, the, the true vintage Boba Fett. Now, uh, the one I just showed you, the the re-release from 2010 that was actually a new sculpt so they didn't reuse the old molds and it's much the same as what they're doing with the uh, retro collection now um, they are new sculpts inspired by the old old figures so there's just something really really cool about this and I can only imagine what it would have been like back in the uh, back in 1979 waiting for this guy to show up at the door after doing the uh, mail away proof of purchase um, mine's not in the best shape, but it's not in terrible shape either. I do have another one that's a little bit, that's seen a little bit more better days than this one. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with this one. There are, is some paint missing, but I find that all a part of the charm when it comes to the vintage figures. I like the fact that they are worn, they've got a story to tell. And yeah, it's just a, uh, that's just a personal personal choice I'm just trying to adjust my light as I go so I can uh, hopefully get these to uh, focus in as best as possible so it's a it's a pretty cool figure it's not hard to find this one um, being Boba Fett he does you know demand a little bit higher price point than most beaters and and uh, sort of loose not great quality vintage figures but Still pretty cool. I like him a lot. So next up, we're going back into my childhood. And I don't believe I even had this as a kid. Now it's Boba Fett, obviously. <laughs> From the Power of the Force line in 1996. I think this one came out. And I just got some blue tack on his feet. But that'll be on his backside anyway. 1996. So the sort of He-Man buff figures. Jetpack. I think it's removable. Um, yes, it is. So it just sort of slid on the back, like so. 
but uh, yeah, I only did pick this one up recently, like within the last 12 months. Um, maybe a little bit longer. They all had silly exaggerated weapons, but that's all right. Um, yeah, I have sort of made a little side mission of my collecting game to uh, complete the Power of the Force 2 line. Uh, you know, I've mentioned plenty of times in the past that, that is my that is my vintage, that is my childhood, and uh, I'm doing quite well with that collection actually. It's it's really nice to have some of the figures that I had and dreamed about as a kid uh, in my hands and in my collection now. Uh, the cool thing I like I like about this figure is I actually sort of went with the vintage color scheme with the still with the red gauntlets, uh, yellow shoulder pads, a little bit more Return of the Jedi than Empire Strikes Back. They still gave him the uh, Mando insignia there, so that's really cool. So that is Power of the Force Two. Now this is from year 2000, which would have been, I guess, Power of the Jedi. Um, maybe, um, I, I can't remember, I don't know when I got this figure, I don't know how long I've had it for. I do remember it was falling apart quite a lot just because the body had separated, so I've since glued it together. Um, minimal articulation, he is in a pre-posed sort of stance, um, which a lot of those sort of uh, Power of the Jedi figures had as well. A um, little bit of articulation in the arms. But uh, overall, this is still quite a nice sculpt, particularly the helmet. Got the soft goods, soft goods poncho cape, which is gold, which is a really interesting fabric choice. Jetpack, I feel like that missile may have come out at some point, and it does. So he must have came with a firing missile mechanism at some point. Um, as far as I remember, I've had this figure in his current state for as long as I can remember. Um, does have the moving rangefinder, which is cool. But uh, yeah, this is the figure I actually use display next to my uh, Slave 1 from the Vintage Collection. Um, so uh, I will drop a, if you want to watch the review for the Slave 1 and haven't before, I will uh, put a link in the comments below so you can go and check that out as well. So that's a, I actually quite like that Boba Fett. He's, uh, I just like the pose of him. Alright, so now I'm going to go with this one. This one is out of a comic pack. Uh, he came with a purple RA7. And uh, I'm trying to think of what year, 2006. Um, so he may have come out a little bit later than that. They may have been doing the comic pack. Yeah, I think they were doing comic packs in 2006, so that does work. Um, but yeah, the, the, some of those comic packs, they uh, they took uh, they took figures that were already out and uh, they gave them like super comic-y color schemes. That's basically the best way I can say it. Uh, but this is actually a pretty good Boba Fett. We're going to look at the original um, original colour scheme of this same figure. Um, this is a mould that they've used plenty of times over the years. I think it's pretty pretty good, pretty fail safe. Um, yeah, I'd say still in need of an upgrade, but it's just the way they've done like yellow shading up the pants. It's got like yellow splash on the head. Yellow around the sort of armor there, really bright red gauntlets and hands. All the colors are just, you know, over exaggerated. Um, but still a nice, a nice figure to have on the shelf. Um, you know, the bright yellow Wookiee braids there. Again, I thought his uh, rangefinder moved on this one, but maybe not. It may have at one point, <laughs> but it doesn't now. Well, it looks like it was uh, attached at some point, but uh, yeah, you know the white or the white on the cheek plate there is uh, it's pretty cool. I do like this. This one has been in my collection for a pretty long time. Um, let's pop him back on the stand, and uh, yeah, he sits on my Boba Fett shelf proudly now. Now this is another one using that same mold, and it is based on his animated debut in the 
1978 holiday special <laughs> which most people would like to forget but uh you know that was Boba Fett's first appearance um and yeah he's pretty much in these colors and uh they sort of took this uh, updated figure and gave him that sort of old colour scheme. Um, now he did have the Wookiee braids, but I cut them off myself. Uh, I didn't like the Wookiee braids being on there. Um, you know, it works for most figures, some figures it doesn't. And this one was one of those figures that I was just like, no, nah, I'm not a fan. Uh, so I sliced it off and, uh, you know, it looks, it looks better for me personally. And uh, looking at his sort of pulse staff, so that's the inspiration for um, the Mandalorian Din Djarin from the Mandalorian. Um, you know, that sort of fork tine, it's not a fork. Um, you know, his pulse rifle. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's quite a cool version of Boba Fett to have in the collection. Still got the dented helmet. His rangefinder moves, which is the same mold as the figure I just showed you, so. Um, I have no doubt that uh, that one did move at some point. I think his gauntlets are a little different on that figure to this figure. Um, and lower arms, but most of the figure is the same, I believe. Um, I haven't really studied them greatly in a while, so... But uh, this one came out in... Yeah, again, this would have been... Uh, 2000... 2000, this one's saying 2007, so uh, yeah, around the 30th anniversary line, which I believe was the collection he was part of. Um, I did have that on, I did keep him in the packaging for quite a long time, so um, yeah, it's <laughs> 2007 is quite a way, quite a way behind us now, so you have to forgive me if I'm indeed incorrect. Um, so here's another one. This one was released in the Vintage Collection, uh, 2011 or 12. This was a... pretty sure it was a mail-away exclusive in the United States. Um, and more recently it got a re-release in the 2014 3 and 3 quarter inch Black Series Collection. Um, I didn't get this in either the Vintage Collection or when it was out. Uh, Buddy Jake, uh, he, he hooked me up with this one a couple of years back. Um, so I'm still very thankful to him for being able to add this one to my collection. I really like the white prototype Boba Fett. Again, still using this sort of same mold, few little differences. Um, he still has the white Wookiee braids. He's got the, the white, the white towel, which isn't accurate because it was a. Uh, I can't even remember what it was uh, on the original prototype outfit that they paraded um, but yeah the black series version didn't have it correct either but that's all right it does have the correct weapons uh, for this for this figure he did have like these two I say they're like space Uzis but <laughs> got a cool little uh, printing on the cape there with like a little star and a couple of moons blue markings on the back of the jetpack but yeah just the white armor with the gray jumpsuits you know it's quite striking and the uh, black T visor just pops really well on the white armor so yeah another cool figure so sticking with the sort of prototype we're gonna go back even further and have a look at a Macquarie concept Boba Fett now this one came out in the 30th anniversary collection they did a full wave of uh, Macquarie concept action figures and I think if I'm correct there was one figure per wave that was a Macquarie concept figure back in 2007 um, but this one he has an interchangeable helmet uh, one that's probably more similar to the one I just showed you um, which I do have on my Macquarie concept shelf but this one belongs on my Boba Fett shelf so he's got this sort of alternate look um, which was indeed the uh, inspiration for the armor worn by bounty hunter Reiko Hardeen in the Clone Wars which is the bounty hunter that Obi-Wan went undercover as um, you can sort of see this is going back to Macquarie's concepts 
Obviously like this little decal on his shoulder. It's really cool, the jetpack looks great. I really do like this uh, helmet design. I think it's really, really nice. It's really cool looking. And the flame effect, it's been plugged in there for quite a few years now and it still hasn't totally flopped down like I was expecting it to. Uh, the interesting thing about this one is, there we go. He has a blaster of some sort in his guts. <laughs> um, so we're still completely unsure whether he was human, half human, robot, not sure, but it was a cool little feature they added onto the action figure here, so. Yeah, that's, uh, I enjoy this Boba Fett quite a lot. It's uh, just a really cool looking figure. I, I dig it. Definitely recommend tracking him down. All right, so going to the Clone Wars now. Um, this is, I don't have a young Boba Fett from the 2002 um, Attack of the Clones line. That's still one that evades me. But uh, this one from the Clone Wars, this is quite a cool figure. He doesn't come with his helmet, uh, but it's young Boba Fett as he appears in the Clone Wars with some extra armor. Um, still would have loved to have seen him get to the point in the series where he was going to don the uh, Mandalorian armor. And uh, he was going to uh, take out Cad Bane, which I'm kind of glad that didn't happen. <laughs> I can leave that story open. Um, but yeah, this is quite a nice figure for Boba Fett. I, uh, I, sort of, I do understand people's dislike of uh, young Boba Fett and what they did to the character in the prequels, but it is what it is. And uh, yeah, there's certainly a lot of excitement about the potential of Boba Fett appearing in The Mandalorian Season 2. Which brings us to the Vintage Collection 2010. This is Boba Fett from Empire Strikes Back. This one recently just got a new release. Um, I think he's been released a couple of times, to be honest. This is probably the, you know, the best of the best Vintage Collection um Boba Fett's to date. Uh, he did have a removable helmet. I wasn't a fan, um, <laughs> mainly because when you put the helmet side on like so, uh, with with the uh, so with the helmet with the face underneath, his nose actually deformed the shape of the helmet. So I took the liberty of shaving the shaving the nose off and gluing the helmet on, and he looks a lot better. <laughs> So this guy stands with my other bounty hunters on my Empire Strikes Back shelf. You still see hints of the head underneath. He had sort of the head covering um, beanie sort of thing underneath. But uh, this is still sort of the best of the best Boba Fett so far. I think this new Return of the Jedi one will uh, take the cake and no doubt be repainted in an Empire version at some point and you know, more than likely re reuse time and time again going in, going forward, so no complaints from me. I think the new Boba Fett's going to be great. So we're going to round out by going to Return of the Jedi, the one that is, I wouldn't say it's sorely overdue for a uh, remake, but it's certainly a dated sculpt. Um, all the articulations there works well. He's only got the swivel hips, which, you know, needs an upgrade, but I think the sculpt of the helmet's probably one of the best. Um... And, you know, it, it's, it was used on a few of these figures that I've shown you here today, so... Uh, Return of the Jedi Fett's probably probably my favourite version of Fett. I like I like the armour colour, I like the colour of the jetpack. I just like the red gauntlets better than the green. Um, you know, a few other subtle differences uh, to his armour uh, that he did switch up in between Empire and Jedi and subscribe subsequently um, between his, you know, popping appearance in A New Hope in the special editions, um, which is basically the same armor as Return of the Jedi, so. This is a cool figure. This one is, this one is predominantly stationed on my barge. So he's about to fly off the barge and go and attempt to uh, take out Luke. 
and meet his uh, potential untimely fate in the belly of the Sarlacc. So we'll put him back there. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I uh, This is just one I wanted to get out. I was sort of thinking about it over the weekend and uh, into today, and I just decided this would be a fun video to shoot and uh, have a look at some Boba Fett figures. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And until my next video, may the force be with you. Always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.